Hello and welcome to Jive Talking with me, Disco Dan. On today's episode we'll be taking a look back at the action from Hucknall and Beeston from this last weekend. So let's get things started with Hucknall on Friday the 9th of June. The show started with Alton Thorne coming to the ring saying he knew that Brad Matthews was in the building and challenged him to a match later in the night and even let Brad Matthews choose any kind of stipulation he wanted. What will Brad Matthews choose? We'll find out a little bit later on. The action kicked off with a fatal four-way match for the Full Throttle Championship as Pinky the Pirate defended the title against Jaden Law, Indigo Jones and Zach Roberts. And it was Pinky coming out on top to retain the Full Throttle Championship, pinning Jaden Law. Up next, we had Nate Colt in action as he went one-on-one -on -one with the Greek giant Gallus, who was accompanied to the ring by his tag team partner, the money mogul Sash. Nate looked to have things in control and was closing in on the victory when he climbed to the top rope, but Sash jumped up on the apron, distracting him, which allowed Gallus to slam him off of the top rope and then follow up with a vicious choke bomb to secure the win. One half of the badly dressed boys, Davy Thompson, was in action next against Mr. USA, Lance Fleshman. The action spilled out of the ring during this match, and Fleshman went for a spear on Davy on the floor. But luckily, Davy managed to avoid this which sent Flashman crashing through a fire exit. Davy then locked the fire exit and jumped in the ring to secure the win via countout. After the interval, Brad Matthews came to the ring to say he accepted Alton Thorne's challenge. He then informed Alton that the stipulation he has chosen is a tag team match and introduced his tag team partner, Franco Fate. This left Alton Thor no time to find a tag team partner and went it alone against the powers that be. The powers that be looked to have things in control when all of a sudden, Max Chimera walked to ringside. After the issues between Max and Alton, no one knew what to expect, but Max jumped on the apron grabbed the tag rope and tagged into the match and with a fury of offence took down the powers that be. Brad Matthews managed to get on top of Max hitting an Alabama slam but Max managed to make it back to Thorne and Thorne tagged in to win the match following a choke slam to Franco Fate. It appears that Max and Alton Thorne do have some respect after they went to war in a street fight a few months ago. And Alton Thorne has made it very clear that he's out for Brad Matthews and the House of Pain Heavyweight Championship. In the main event of the evening, it was Niall Hind joining forces with the firms Joey Cement and Spike. That's him to take on myself, Rave Boy, and a mystery partner. Me and Rave Boy knew that we needed someone fun-loving who loves music just as much as we do, so we introduced our mystery partner as Niall Hines' former best friend, Mr Rock and Roll, Johnny Sterling. As the match started, Johnny didn't seem to be having the fun we hoped he would, as him and Niall just beat the hell out of each other until me and Rave Boy pulled him away and taught him how to have fun again. It was myself, Rave Boy and Johnny picking up the win when Johnny Sterling found his inflatable guitar and then came off the top rope with a splash onto Spike to secure the win. It is great to see the fun-loving Mr Rock and Roll, Johnny Sterling, back in House of Pain. Moving on to Beeston now on Saturday the 10th of June. 
it was announced that an eight-man single elimination tournament would be held on the night, with the winner receiving a title match of their choosing. The opening round was contested with a six-minute time limit. In the opening match of the tournament, it was the powers that be, it's Grace and Clay, going one-on-one -on -one with the Stormbreaker, Marley Hayden. And it was Grayson picking up the win, advancing to the semi-finals after a hard-hitting, fast-paced match. The second match of the opening round was Nate Colt taking on the firm's Will Roberts. And it was Nate picking up the win, advancing to the semi-finals. In the third match of the tournament, Matlock went one-on-one -on -one with the Ninja Ryu with Matlock forcing the ninja to submit to take his place in the semi-finals. Then in the final opening round match, we saw team textbooks Kyle Crimson going one-on-one -on -one with the high-flying Ritmo, and this match unfortunately went to a six-minute time limit draw, meaning both men were eliminated from the tournament. This meant that Grace and Clay got a free pass straight to the finals. In the semi-final match to see who would face Grayson, it was Nate Colt taking on Matlock, and it was Nate picking up the win via disqualification. After the match, Matlock continued to attack Nate with a chair, causing him to injure his back. It seems that the odds are stacked against Nate, going into the final. Before the finals were due to take place, we did have a six-man tag team match as the team of the new and improved Tristan Wheeler, Eli Valentine and Owen Ocean took on Jerry Jarvis, Pinky the Pirate and Ethan Griffin. As the match got started, Pinky and Eli fought straight to the back, beating the hell out of each other leaving Tristan and Owen against Jerry and Ethan. As the match went on, it was the team of Tristan, Eli and Owen picking up the win. In the main event of the evening, it was the finals of the tournament with a well-rested Grace and Clay going one-on-one -on -one with an exhausted and injured Nate Colt. Nate wasn't going down without a fight and put up one hell of an effort, but it all became too much for him as his back gave out, allowing Grayson the opening he needed to secure the victory and win the tournament. Grayson now has earned himself a shot at any title that he chooses. Which title will Grayson go for? I guess we'll have to wait to find out. Well, thank you very much for watching today. That is all I do have time for. Don't forget to like the video, share the video and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time for some more Jive Talking.